Hello, my name is Michael and I work for Aurel Systems. This is a quick video to demonstrate Cadsum Plus and OLI working together to predict pH control in a neutralization reactor. The drawing here is showing the Cadsum Plus program which is calling OLI to calculate the pH of the solution. Coming in from the left, we have a solution with a varying amount of sulfuric acid being fed into a tank. A hopper is providing lime to neutralize the acid. CADSIM handles the holdup and mixing in the tank while OLI predicts the pH coming from the resulting mixture. To control the pH, I have set up a simple on-off pH controller that feeds lime in for 8 minutes and then lets the tank mix for 10 minutes. If the pH is below the set point, more lime is fed in on that schedule. In this way, we are able to predict the effectiveness of this controller. We notice that the pH is not being well controlled due to the variation in acid entering the tank. Using this link between OLI and CADSIM, we can test control tuning in a virtual environment before implementing it in an actual process. To demonstrate this, I will try tuning the controller in CADSIM. First, I will enable a layer I had previously set to invisible, and this shows us a multi-specification that I can select and now modify the three parameters I have set up for the pH controller. First, I will increase the amount of lime fed from 20 to 30 kilograms per minute. I've done this because at times when the incoming acid concentration is high, the controller has trouble keeping up. With this higher feed rate, however, we may encounter the opposite problem of the pH going too high when the acid concentration is low. To counteract this, I will divide the on time and off time by half. Finally, I select apply and we can see the pH is being controlled more consistently than it was before. This was a simple example of the link between OLI and CADSIM Plus working together to simulate an actual process. By simulating this pH controller, we can quickly test the effects of new tuning parameters and understand their consequences before implementing them in an actual process.